everyone! Using the library website and databases can be an intimidating process. Luckily, you have a friendly team of librarians available to help you every step of the way. Your professors may require you to find sources for projects through the UW Stout Library webpage. That page can be found at library.uwstout.edu. If you began on the UW Stout website, select Academics at the top of the page. From there, select University Library. Before you begin searching, click on Accounts on the top right of the home page. Sign in to your Search at UW account using your UW Stout username and password. Once you are signed in, you can return to the library homepage by selecting the University Library icon on the top left of the screen. There are several places you can begin your research on the library website, Ask a Librarian, the Search at UW function, or a subject-specific database. If you feel unsure of where to begin, contact a librarian using the contact information provided under Ask a Librarian. You can live chat, text, and email expert librarians this way. You even have the option to schedule a one-on-one -on -one research appointment with us. A research appointment is a free session where you and an expert librarian dive into your research project to refine your research topic, develop strong keyword lists, select sources, and evaluate the information in those sources. In short, we will get you on track to earning the grade you want on your project. Are you studying off campus this semester? Research appointments are still available to you every weekday. Schedule an appointment using the form as usual and note when scheduling it that you need a virtual appointment and we will coordinate a video conferencing tool. If you're ready to research independently, you may want to begin your search using the search at UW function. That's the Google bar on the home page of the library. Unlike an individual database, this function will connect you to all of UW Stout's holdings. This includes not just peer-reviewed journal articles and books, but also potentially video games, puppets, camera equipment, and other materials that are available to you through the library. Let's use the Search at UW function to perform a search for our research. Let's say we are researching a topic, how does climate change impact water in the Midwest? Our keywords would be climate change, water, and the Midwest. You may remember from our keywords video that if you are searching for a specific phrase, for example, climate change, you need to put it in quotes to clarify what you are looking for to the database. We'll plug in climate change without quotes first and see what happens. Wow! We have almost 3.4 million results. That is because the search at UW function is looking for climate and change as separate keywords and not necessarily a single concept. Now let's put climate change in quotes to clarify to the search at UW function that we are looking specifically for climate change. Just by telling the search engine that you are looking specifically for climate change, we eliminated almost 2.2 million irrelevant results. We have several options to make your search even more specific, because who wants to look at that many results? Let's refine our search using the Advanced Search option on the upper right side of the screen. This creates a sort of layered Google bar that lets you refine your search with additional keywords. We are now going to add the other keywords that came with our topic, climate change, water, and the Midwest. At this point, we may want to require our keywords to be the subject terms in our results. Perhaps we know the author of the source we are looking for. This is where you can clarify that to the database. You may also want to refine by material type, language, or publication date. Let's view results that were published in the last five years. With these changes, we now have far fewer results than we started with, but we're not done yet. We can refine our results in a lot of other ways. Perhaps we only want those scholarly, peer-reviewed sources our professors love. Perhaps we only want resources from a specific journal title. 
This left hand side of the screen is where you can refine your results for those purposes. Once we finish refining our search, we can save it and return to it later by selecting the Save Query option. This will save your keywords and filters exactly as you search them here, and you can view your query in your favorites on the top right. The same can be done for individual resources. Double check that you are signed in to your library account. Your name should be in the top right corner. Your favorites will not save if you are not signed in. Did you find the perfect article, but we do not have access to it through the library? Fear not! Click on the information for the article and select Fetch It For Me. This will autofill a form to submit re the request for the article from another library. Depending on the article, you may receive access to it via email within a couple days. Let's return to the library homepage. Would you rather begin researching in a database? Let's dive in and select the Find Databases button. With over 300 databases to choose from, it can be intimidating knowing which one to select. I recommend sorting the databases by subject to furnish a list of best bets for your topic. For our topic, the impacts of climate change on water in the Midwest, I would probably select a database in the science and mathematics subject list. When choosing a database, I like to begin with an EBSCO database. EBSCO is one of our providers of databases, and you will find that many subjects have databases provided by EBSCO. For our topic, let's use EBSCO Science and Environment, and we'll apply some of those same keywords that we used in the search at UW function. As we type in climate change, you see that EBSCO is recommending some word variations. This is really helpful if you are struggling with your keyword lists. You'll see that as you apply your search, you can refine it in a lot of the same ways you did in the search at UW tool. Let's go ahead and apply the search like we did for that tool. We can limit to scholarly peer-reviewed journals, material type, and more. As we look at our results, we have some full text access through this database and some results where we do not have access. You do have the option to limit results to full text on this database. If you do not select full text to limit your search, you may see a result like this. This find it arrow means we do not have full text of this article in this database. However, if we click on the find it arrow, we are brought to the library web page where the computer just searched for access to the article in a different database. Lucky for us, this article is available in Wiley Online Library. If you select the Find It arrow in a database and full text is not available elsewhere, you can always select the Fetch It For Me option and that auto-populated form to request the full version from another institution. There you have it! We explored three ways you can begin your research through the UW Stout Library. Ask a Librarian, Search at UW, and a Subject-Specific Database. No matter where you begin, know that research help is available to you on and off campus every day. Happy researching!